We just can't score goals at home, eh, JT? Oh, Don't know what's going on, mate. Yeah, I guess, Steve. Yeah, How's it going? All right, Gav, morning, mate. What's he doing? The suspension's over, Gav. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter about that. We have AJ Tate. He's, 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 he's the best, best that we've had. Gav, I've looked all over. It was in the van when I set off. And I've looked all over for it while I've been waiting for you and I can't find it. <clears throat> all right, I guess we'll have to take on them, won't we? Welcome back. Thank you. So we, we are on the road for about four and a half hours today. We've all brought pack lunches today because, like I say, we're not going to stop too long at the services, you know, just to make up a bit of time. So I guess you what's, what's in your pack lunch? I have a couple of chicken bone meal wraps, Gav. All right, okay. Well, oh, very healthy. Well, I have a lovely, um, I have a lovely chicken and stuffing sandwich, which I can't wait oh, to, 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 to eat. Can't beat a bit of stuffing, Exactly. Uh, AJT, what have you got? Four bounty pack of sweets and six pack of quavers, and I love this in. Priceless man. AJT. 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 Ah, oh, you lose! <laughs> <laughs> Something begin with R. Ah. Is it road, Gav? Covered in cabbage? It's road. Oh, covered in cabbage. Road. Yeah. Cabbage. Yeah. Right, it's it is. Third of February, Gav. Right, it's the third of February. 3rd of February. On our way down to Norwich, Carrow Road. Yeah, 3 p.m. Kick off. Mighty butter. Right. Wagwan. Are we happy with all that? Yeah. I hate you both. Norwich today, lads. Mm -hmm. How are we feeling about today's match? Um, the weird games, Gav. Confident as, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Yeah. Totally yeah. different home games, AJC. Yeah, and going off their record at home, I'm really, I'm, I mean, especially Norwich's home record, I'm pretty confident going into this one. Yeah. Uh, I think I think Norwich have already won four at home all season. Is that all they've won? Four at home all season, five draws yeah. and five defeats, I think they've had. So. That's two more than us, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, obviously, you know what I mean, if you go off that, I mean, I feel pretty confident. Players that have left, uh, surprised, Braithwaite yeah, went. big surprise. Surpri I'm more surprised Christie went, but then when you see Pulis' mm. interview yesterday, there must have been... A bit of unrest with them two lads. He was saying they were very unhappy, didn't he? That's what yeah, he was saying. Bro. And Fletcher's gone he as well. He didn't understand how players can be at a club for a couple of months and feel unhappy. And I'm guessing that's who he was. He was obviously, I'm guessing that's who he was on about being brave and Christie. I don't know whether it's got out to do with me, Gav. <laughs> oh, me. Like yeah. yeah. Haven't you interviewed each and every one of them? I've interviewed Tavernier. Yeah, gone. He's gone. Fletcher. Gone. gone. <laughs> Braithwaite. Gone. Christie's granddad. Gone. Oh well, I don't know about his granddad. Yeah. God, let's not put that around. Gally Mung. James Beatty. Yeah. Gone. Gally Mung. Gone. I'm sure there's another one. Oh God, you keep yeah, interviewing AJ too, we might yeah, get lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I think this season, man, you know, it hasn't been all doom and gloom. I think the playoffs are still still there. I mean, you know what I mean? We win today and Fulham get beaten, you know, we probably go straight into the top six. Mm. You know, there is there is still a lot of hope there. Even though we have had a obviously with the Gally Monk and whatnot. Gary Monk just didn't understand that ticket tack of football does not work, and that's what he couldn't understand, you know. Uh, He's in line from the song now. He kept, he kept playing 4 5 1 instead of 4 3 3. And once you, <laughs> once you oh, figure, hey, oh, once hey. You, once you figure out, like, look at that 4 3 3 is the way to go, 
Do you know what I mean? Uh, that's that's the only way to play. That's the only way to play football. There's isn't been it? too so, many ifs and buts here, Jay. Yeah. It's been inconsistent. It has been a bad season. Now we're on form. Even before Pulis Cummins dire. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It, the the yeah. Riverside hasn't been inspired this season. Even when we were comfortable against QPR, you know, we should they, they should never have been in the game. And then five minutes after half time, we're getting beat 2 1. Do you know what I yeah, mean? True. It's uh, own form has been poor. Let's hear some predictions. Um, we'll start with guest eating CJT for a gun set 3 1. I'll go after you, Gav. No, no, I can I'm not falling for this again. Go on. 1 0, Borough. He's took my score again. Well, <laughs> well I'm going to do my scoreline is I missed three games. And I'm back for I'm back for my first one. So if you add that up, that's 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 that, that sounds like three one. So I'm gonna go for Borough three one. <laughs> He's a parody of himself now. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I was gonna go one nil, um, but guess he's already taken that. So I am gonna go two nil. Come on, Borough. Come follow on, Borough. me. Used to van. Yeah. Right here we are, we finally made it. Uh, we found a nice big open car park that we parked in. Only cost eight quid. A bit expensive if you ask me. Um, but yeah, it seems nice. We've already had home fans talking it was. Seems very pleasant. Looking forward to it today. Canaries, yeah. they're well known for getting taken down in the mines and they drop dead if, if there was a gas leak oh, yeah, or anything yeah, like yeah. that. Well, speaking of a gas leak... I don't think the Canaries have a chance, mate. That's all he's been doing all the way down. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was all in fields we were passing. No, no, there's no cows on them fields. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank We do a very unbiased stadium review at Rakara Road. Um, the Canaries. Uh, so, so, I guess, did you know how far away it was from Middlesbrough? It says on one of them, Gav, 169 miles, but it still said four and a half hours. Right, but the one we run today it says 240 miles. Minus 240 points. Let's let's just make sure we, you know, run a minus a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds for renaming this stadium the Aviva Stadium. Right. Carroll Road, and it always will be Carroll Road. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, Carroll Road. So minus 1,000 points. It's very colourful, Gab. Oh, All this yeah, yellow and green, yeah. isn't it? Yellow, yellow and green. green. Oh, no, yeah. It's like sweet corn and bees. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. The Carvery. 
<laughs> I mean, to be honest, I really like the stadium. It's a really nice yeah, stadium. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of weird because like you've got kind of new parts and then you've got like the older parts as well. Yeah. Like look at the clock in the background there. Like, you only see that in really old stadiums. Yeah. Like just the, the actual like yeah, the hands clock. on the clock, you know. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And there's obviously people who have a free view of the game. So Gavin's left. Yeah, yeah. Look. We have a holiday in. Check this out. The holiday in. There's, there's Bor Borough fans in these right here. Yeah. Didn't he buy a ticket? So, yeah, I mean, let, let's yeah. minus 2,000 points for not having to buy tickets. There's 2,000 people in that room on the top floor. Yeah, the yeah absolutely. <laughs> to be honest, Guesty, I am going to give him points back for this cool rotating um, phone. Yeah. It's Big Dave's phone. Big Dave's phone. Big yeah. Dave, we found, Dave, we found your phone, mate. Big Dave, it's over here, mate. You're missing your phone. There it is. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him 10 points back. These are our fans. It's cordoned off to this side where I guess these head is and it goes over to here apparently 1,500 is how many we've brought up there now yeah. um, so that's quite good I think we're going to be here for now seeing these last yeah we're in a very tight corner like Gaz but like you say we're creating atmosphere with the away fan exactly instead of being spread out all the way through the stadium At this point in time we did the interviews with the fans. The link to the playlist will be at the end of this video. We're out where the big service is. We're obviously back from the game, we got beat 1-0. Uh, there was a red card, not the only game that there was a red card in by the way. There's apparently six other games in the championship alone. Mm. Bad red cards, isn't it? Is it Sheffield over? Wednesday had two red cards. Really? Yeah. Bloody hell, right? One in the first yeah. half, one in the second half. The team wasn't inspiring, the team selection yeah. was defensive. Negative. It was Very, defensive. To I leave think. Johnny Housen out, who's yeah. who been playing class for us. Who has become yeah. a box to box midfielder. Yeah. You know, for the, for the championship, he's a good player. Yeah. He, he, he's, He's starting to prove his worth now. Honestly, he got a good reception as well, which was really always good nice to see. Yeah. Quite frankly, we've 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 talked to Johnny a few arms, and he's he's always an absolute gent with us, isn't yeah. he? They were singing his. The, the yeah. Norwich fans were singing so for Johnny Olsen. This is how I see it. In the first 25 minutes, say, uh, I thought it was a very even game. There's a lot of our Borough fans who came on the interview saying that we were in front. I think it was a very even game. I was enjoying it. I was. They tortured us a few arms at the back. First ten minutes, they had us turning round. Gav. First yeah, 10 yeah. Minutes. Let's talk about these yellow cards. First yellow card. Um, it goes in. Uh, Gested uh, versus one of their defenders. Um, they're, well, they're, actually, they're there was a couple of them around, wasn't there? Their lad went down, and so, the referee wasn't going to do now. Yeah. Till he went over and seen the lad rolling about as if Anthony Joshua had, had just given one of his famous uppercuts. <laughs> Well, the, the way I've seen it yesterday, once again, I haven't seen any highlights. I might be completely wrong about this. The way I've seen it at the time was their defender had gone down to get a header. And I was, I was always taught at school, if your head's down here mm -hmm. and people are throwing the feet around, you're going to get kicked in the face yeah. and it's going to be your own fault. That's how I've seen it. I might be wrong once again, but that's how I've seen it. Shouldn't have been a yellow card. Now, the second yellow card... I thought he got the ball, but obviously if he's gone in two-footed, I can understand why he got a yellow, well, a straight red he got, actually, which was... After the sending off and all, I, I ran down to go to the toilet, Gavin, it was on the TV. Right. And I briefly seen the tackle, and it, it doesn't look like he went in two-footed, it looks like he went in to win the ball. Yeah. And He did get the ball, yeah, though, didn't his, he? Whether his studs were up, or, yeah, he got the ball, whether his studs were up, like you say, it was... 
it, it was replayed on the TV and I just caught the end of it. So, like you say, till we look at it again, most probably, I dare say they could win the appeal with a double red card, eh, with a straight red card. Yeah. And he'll, he'll only get a one game suspension, but I hope he gets a three. We have to just go for it today for me. He could have banged three up front at half time, just gone for it. He could have put Bamford, Triore, and Sambalonga. Yeah. He said, go out there and just run at him, try and do whatever you can. If you get beat for half minute, it doesn't matter because at least you had a goal. Yeah. Today, we defended their 1 0 lead. When you look at the team today, and you look at Friend, Ayala, Gibson, right? And you've got Downen, Ledbetter, Clayton, mm. right? And then you've got Gusted and Bamford. Does it ring any bells? Does, doesn't, it, doesn't it sound familiar? It does sound a little the, bit the familiar. The Karankas yeah. players, yeah. Pulis yeah. man, they are Karankas players. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not Gary Monks, the Karankas. And basically, that was a Karanka side that was out there today. Absolutely. You had Shotton and the goalkeeper. Yeah. That, that was a Karanka side. His name is Darren Randolph. Randy. 